back in the fall when the Fourth Light first came out with the synthetic vision display, I made a quick and dirty video to show what it looked like out the window compared to what it looked like on the Fourth Light display. It was very crude and I'd always intended to go back and do a better job, but it took me until now to do that. In this video, I have two cameras running, one of them looking out the front window of the plane and the other pointing at the Fourth Light display with the synthetic vision on it. And I've synced up the two videos so that you can watch exactly what is showing on the iPad compared to what's showing out the window real time. During the video, we'll be making two landings and one takeoff. Now, the first landing will be at Kilo Sierra Echo Papa, Stephenville, Texas. And then we'll be departing from there, followed by landing at McKinney, Texas, which is Kilo Tango Kilo India. As you begin watching, you'll notice that I've sped up a lot of the footage by a factor of about three to four. I did that to keep it from getting too boring, but yet be able to show you the transition over the VFR map and the four flight synthetic display, how they correspond to each other. Although not really related to synthetic vision, I found it really interesting that uh, coming over the Granbury Airport, ADSB picked up some traffic departing from there and uh, it looked like it was following us, thank goodness, not an F-16, but, but note how that aircraft evidently has ADS-B out because the end number is showing up on the display. Although that's kind of cool, it's kind of creepy too that in the new world everybody will know who you are. So here we are, arriving at Stephenville Airport. We've managed to outrun the F-16 from Granbury. We'll be flying a left-hand pattern for 1-4 in the Stephenville. You'll notice as we are making the base turn, we have a few obstacles appearing in red because we are lower than 500 feet above them. And now we have the runway coming into sight, both on visual and on synthetic vision. If you're like me, you're wondering, what are we doing over here on the left-hand side of the runway? The center line's over here, buddy. Well, the pilot claims he was doing that deliberately just to show the accuracy of the synthetic vision display compared to the <laughs> actual runway. Yeah, right. Did you catch that? After we landed and were rolling out on the runway, Four Flight automatically popped up the airport diagram as an overlay onto the airport. After a short stay to enjoy the car show they had here at the airport, we're ready to depart. Interesting notes, if you watch, you're notified on four flight when you approach a runway and when you enter the runway, both. Now that's not a big deal with one runway, but imagine you're in an airport with a complex taxi diagram. That might be really handy. As we climb out, watch how the terrain will change color from red to yellow and eventually green, indicating that we're then, for red, 100 feet above the terrain, and yellow, greater than 1,000 feet above the terrain. The obstacles out ahead are doing that as well. Speaking of altitude, one other thought that I had. Now that pressure altitude is available with the Stratus, It'd be great if the synthetic vision screen would give you the choice of using either GPS altitude or pressure altitude. And here we are back at McKinney and ready to do our final landing. 
as we approach the airport, there's another aircraft taking off, and as it climbs out through our altitude, the plane is shown in yellow, and we get an alert showing the direction and altitude and distance of that traffic. And if you watch carefully, you'll note that the bouncing of the aircraft is mirrored exactly between the synthetic vision display and looking out the window. And again, after our landing on during the rollout, the taxi diagram will pop up automatically overlaying the airport diagram on the VFR chart. Well, I hope you found that demonstration informative, especially for you pilots who have never tried for flight or synthetic vision before. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it.